Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you and bless you and bless you in Jesus' name. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope this video meets you well. Um, recently, we have had some reactions trailing the purported confession of Pastor Creflo Dollar over his admission that he had actually made mistake in some of the things he has taught his congregation about tithe. And so he went ahead to ask them to uh, throw away every tape, burn every book and whatever material that he has taught them in the past, with which he has taught, taught them in the past. You know that um, tithing was done under the law and uh, suddenly he had just found out that under grace, tithe was not necessarily necessary the way he has taught it. And by saying that, actually, he was not saying that tithe was completely at Lord. Now, but the question is, um, having said that, I just want to do a follow-up video. You know, I've done a video where I said that those people who are calling him out to to return all the tithe he collected, I think that would be so harsh and misplaced. And that is my own opinion. The most important thing is to find out, uh, you know, the most important thing is to, to for him to have whatever he did to have come out from his heart. If it came out from his heart, you know, since there, there have been some kind of dissenting voices um, about it, people uh expressing divergent opinion about it some are for and some are against and some are actually very angry you know at him i like you to you know um listen to that version of his story again as it has to do with him saying what he said in his church i um uh, i want to start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never understand understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace which has made the difference I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route I would have never ended up where I am right now but I will say that I have no shame at all at saying to you throw away every book every tape in every video I ever did on the subject of tithing, unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in the, in the last... All right, uh, this is not new. You have heard it. And there are some uh, dissenting voices. There are some that um, have been able to pick some kind of pride in his so-called confession, in that he didn't actually come out boldly to say to his congregation that he was sorry. Rather, he said he was not going to apologize over it and he was not ashamed to tell them to do what he asked them to do as in burning those materials and throwing the CDs and the tapes away. Now, the question is, has he actually repented from all these things? Has he truly come out from the uh, influence that money seemed to have had over him. Now, for instance, um, 
Creflo Dollar is one of the very rich American preachers. And seeing him so overjoyed in this video that I'm about to play to you now. Creflo Dollar is well known for preaching a false prosperity gospel. He once walked on money. I bet I walk on this money. Woo! 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 Put some money. Hey! Woo! The bills are paid. However, he admitted recently that what he taught regarding tithing was wrong. Pay great attention to every word and decide for yourself whether he sincerely repented for not only cheating his gullible followers out of millions of dollars, but also for preaching a false and heretical prosperity gospel. Um, can we conveniently say that Creflo has repented? Now these questions are very, very necessary because there is a difference between one saying, I have misled you in the things I taught you about tithe. But then now I am still holding on to the way I get money from you. Getting money from persons with this kind of trade by butter thing that they, they teach people. You know, and some persons would not do the things they were they are supposed to do for themselves. They live on giving and sowing seed that's giving to the pastors sowing seed to the pastors because they are hoping that there will be some kind of money doubling effect tomorrow at least that is what their men of god have told them now and you discover like apostle takin put it he said these things will never prepare you for the next life and you keep giving and giving and giving and the guy keeps smiling to the bank you, you keep smiling to hell. You see, because the the issue of of bring bring God and they collect from everybody, they collect from the poor because every poor is actually very eager to be rich. But then the question we fail to ask, we who they collect from, has been the rich men in town that don't even know Christ, they don't even know God, they don't even believe in God. And don't come to tell me that, you know, all of them were given money by, by the devil, by Satan. Don't come to tell me that. The question is, where they actually, did, did they give, who, to whom did they give? But remember that I have not had issues with giving. I have issues and problems with manipulation. I just did a, a video where the wife of Passion Java has also added another thing to the list. That if your prayer life is weak, when you pay money, a thousand five hundred dollar, that can break the altar that is making you prayerless. You see, so we need to ask that question. And I have a video here where a white man is already asking the question. And also to address the issue of him not being able to at least say the word, I am sorry. Well, I'm, I'm not so particular about that, but I am very particular about let it not be that he just stopped, you know, his manner and ways of collecting tithe from them. But then this other part that is even more lucrative than the tithe itself. I'd like you to listen to this white man here. He says, I won't apologize because... Had I not done all of this, had I not been wrong for all these years, I would not have arrived at where I've arrived today. I won't apologize. I'm not going to apologize. Creflo, are you even, do you have any self-awareness at all? Your whole ministry, your entire ministry has been one for decades of teaching word, faith, false theology. Sow a seed, reap a harvest give to get the only people giving have been all of these largely middle class to lower middle class to poor people millions of them giving to you to fund your palatial home your rolls royces your private jets your fancy suits in all of these years you've been telling these people give me money so god will bless you if you're in debt give me money God will get you out of debt. Hundredfold return. Give me ten dollars, God will give you a thousand. Give me a thousand dollars, God will give you a hundred thousand. Hundredfold return. It's the bread and butter. You tell sick people, if you need healing in your body, give 
me money. Do you have any idea? Sick people have given money to you because they have a sick spouse, their husband, their wife is sick, their child is sick, and they have given you money that they don't have to give, that they could be spending for medical expenses or travel expenses. To, But no, they've given it to you, Creflo, but you're not going to apologize. Unbelievable. That, dear friends, is a seared conscience. Don't be fooled. This is not repentance. Not by light years is this repentance.